Just to explain this video a little bit first, it's a Geometro that was sputtering and had no power going up hills. We assumed it was the EGR valve, so we replaced it. It gave the car a little bit more power, but it wasn't quite what it needed. Never thought to check the spark plugs. We checked the spark plugs, and one of them was had just had a ton of oil on it. It was just covered in oil, and these spark plugs looked to be like the original ones. So we replaced all the spark plugs, the sputter went away, and the car had full power going up hills and all that. Unfortunately, since this video was made and we got it up and running in a lot better shape, uh, it was completely totaled in an accident. This footage is one of the last images of this poor little car uh, being complete and running. So just thought I would let you guys know that. If you have a sputtering Geometro, try the spark plugs. Uh, EGR valve is a little harder than checking the spark plug. Beep, beep, beep. Well, today we're going to be playing with a 97 Geometro. The problem with this little Metro is the EGR valve is clogged up. And that is no bueno. So we need to try to fix it up has a little bit of a knock and lately it's been running rough and then the power started getting really bad to where it'll just barely creep up hills and that's pretty much a telltale sign on a you know like a clogged EGR valve it'll just needs to be cleaned up and it's down there just can't see it I've never really done it before which is weird because I've done a lot of other stuff with cars so it'll be a learning experience only real supplies needed are a new gasket for it and basically some carbon throttle body cleaner uh, anything more specifically any kind of cleaner that's going to work uh, for getting rid of carbon deposits you kind of need to make sure it's carbon cleaning specific and it's not just going to clean grease and other crap it needs to be able to clean carbon very well and all of this is going to cost a total of five dollars and hopefully it'll fix the problem. So first things first, we're going to get rid of the things that are in the way to make access a little bit easier. So we'll start by taking the air cleaner thingy off first. That's kind of cool looking. Oh yeah, maybe to get that off. That's bolted to the valve cover. Now that we got that out of the way, and it's all more open here, you can get better access to what we're digging at. There's a little hose here, connected to a metal nipple, which is a part of the EGR valve setup here. And there's one other hose right here that comes down into the top of it. We're going to have to take that off too. And that looks like everything that's connected to it. And it's got two little bolts here that hold it on. And they're 10 millimeter, from what I can tell, they're 10 millimeters. So we're going to start prying those bad boys off and see what we got going on here. Ta-da! We got it off. A little dirty. Let's try cleaning it. 